At the center of our plan for economic relief are massive tax cuts for workers that include something else that's turned out to be very popular, actually. Here it's very popular, in this building and all those hotels that I saw that are so nice. I'm staying in a nice one. It's called No Tax on Tips. No Tax on Tips. No tax on tips. I got that by having dinner recently in Nevada, where we're leading by about 14 points. Hello. I'll see you there very soon, everybody. And we're having dinner at a beautiful restaurant in the Trump building on the Strip. And it's a great building. And the waitress comes over. How's everything going? A really nice person. How's everything? Oh, sir, it's so tough. The government's after me all the time on tips, tips, tips. I said, well, they give you cash. Would they be able to find it? She said, actually, and I didn't know this. She said, very little cash is given. It's all put right on the check. And they come in and they take so much of our money, it's just ridiculous. And they don't believe anything we say. And they've just hired, as you know, 88,000 agents to go after them even more. And I said, this shows the level of my, you know, most people go out, they hire consultants, they pay millions of dollars. But I said to her, let me just ask you a question. Would you be happy if you had no tax and tips? She said, what a great idea. I got my information from a very smart waitress. That's better than spending millions of dollars. The States will be the crypto capital of the planet and the Bitcoin superpower of the world. And we'll get it done. If crypto is going to define the future, I want to be mined, minted, and made in the USA. It's going to be. It's not going to be made anywhere else. And if Bitcoin is going to the moon, as we say, it's going to the moon. I want America to be the nation that leads the way. And that's what's going to happen. I pledge to the Bitcoin community that the day I take the oath of office, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris's anti-crypto crusade will be over. It will end. It'll be done. It'll be done. On day one, I will fire Gary Gensler and appoint a new... Chairman. You're going to be crushed. Shalom, shalom, shalom. All praises to the Most High. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, which is to say in the Paleo Hebrew, Yahweh, which is the name of our Heavenly Father, meaning He is Bahashem, meaning in the name Yahweh Shai, meaning He is our salvation who the world ignorantly calls Jesus a so-called black man, okay? Now, to my understanding, on the first video, Donald Trump, the former president of the United States, and what looks like is running to be reelected as the president, is saying on one hand that no more tax for tips, okay? And he gives the story how he was at one of his, you know, buildings and a waitress came up to him and, you know, they had an interaction where he posed the question, how would you feel if there was no more tax on your tips? OK. And, you know, that led to the fact that, you know, that would be a awesome thing. OK. No more taxing on your tips, you know, especially those that pay with cash, as he said. And then right before I cut it off, he said that goes for taxi drive, taxi cab drivers and caddies. You know, those who help the golfers and give them their clubs and things of that magnitude, you know, and the golfers give them a tip with, you know, a 20 or a 30 or a 40 or a 50 dollar or whatever denomination bills they use. You know, he says no more tax on those tips. OK. But then on the other hand, we see in the second video. He's promoting Bitcoin, okay, which is a cryptocurrency that uses a blockchain technology, which is like a ledger that tracks all transactions, you see? So what is it? Is it no more tax on the tip or is it cryptocurrency that is going to allow every transaction to be tracked? 
Okay? So they speak, or should I say he's speaking out of, you know, both sides of his mouth. Okay? We know what the prophecy says that everything is going to be tracked. Okay? So this is, uh, this is Psalms 12 and 2. It says, they speak vanity, everyone with his neighbor. Right. So you see him in that RNC Republican National Conference, you know, giving the people what they want to hear. OK. Not knowing that, you know, he, this is all on par to go along with the elites want to, you know, have bring forth, which is that mark of the beach beast, which is a digital tracking system, which is a R.I. RFID micro CHIP. OK, that's going to track every transaction. That's the whole point. Tips as well. OK, that's why they coming about this uh, election as the way they coming about it. OK, eventually they're going to transfer everything over to this digital uh, currency. OK, and if you getting paid, cash is going to be obsolete. OK, so given that false narrative that no more tax on your tips is just, you know, pandering to his audience, making them feel good. OK, they don't think, you know, twice about what he's saying. OK, because on the other hand, he's promoting, you know, the U.S. being the, the leader of Bitcoin cryptocurrency, which is a ledger that tracks all transactions. OK. See, but this is what happened when you don't have a keen idea on what prophecy, you know, dictates. OK, so Psalms 12 and 2, they speak vanity, everyone with his neighbor, with flattering lips and with a double heart. Do they speak right? And that's how they get the people, man. They give them flattering compliments. They tell them what they want to hear. They get them, you know, all ramped up and, you know. Give them this big, <laughs> this deliverance speech. And, you know, you get your hopes and your faith, you know, up in this system. OK, which if you are so-called black, Latino and Native American, you know, you shouldn't have any hope in this system, man. This place is getting ready to crumble, getting ready to fall, you know, and you still listening to the lies that's being pandering by these, you know, them are uh, these uh, politicians. You know, that's all it is, is to get you invested into this system more and more. OK, tell you a lie here, give you flattering there. And next thing you know, you ready for another four, five, six years, man. And <laughs> when we trying to get the hell up out of here. All right. So let's read that again. Psalms 12 and two. They speak vanity, everyone with his neighbor, with flattering lips and with a double heart, which is a mind. Do they speak? Right, because he's speaking out of both sides of his ass, man. Okay, <laughs> he thinks somehow he's going to be able to allow Bitcoin to flourish and allow cash to still be relevant at the same time, man. Those two are going to cancel out each other, man. Cash is going to be obsolete. You know, we're heading to the way of the future, which is this digital transaction. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it could be spearheaded by Bitcoin, but we know ultimately where it's leading at. It's leading to that mark that you're going to have to receive in your right hand or in your forehead. OK, now let's go to Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 12. Uh, 12 and verse 10. This is Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach in the Apocrypha, chapter 12 and verse 10. It says, Never trust thy enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. And this system is your enemy, Jake. Wake up, man. <laughs> There's nothing that's left here for you to want to invest your, 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 your time in, man. If you find your life here in this system, meaning if you make it, you know, if you come out on the other side, it's, it's a great chance that you've lost your life in your house shot, man. Okay, because it says what? It says it's easier for a camel to go through a needle's eye than for a rich man to enter to the kingdom of the most high. 
right? Because you're not going to want to give up that wealth that you have accumulated here in this wicked system, this wicked society, especially if you're under the notion that you're a self-made whatever, millionaire, billionaire, or whatever, Bitcoin era, whatever. You're not going to want to give that up because you're going to believe that you're the one that actually allowed yourself to get to that point, okay? This is all a trap to trap you into the system, okay? To the matrix, if you will, all right? But it says what? Never trust thy enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness, okay? There's nothing left in this society worth trusting, man. This place is finished. It's a wrap. They could pander. They could flatter, flatter you. They could tell you everything you want to hear. They could talk out. They could talk out of both sides of their mouth. It's all a lie, man. There's nothing left in this system. Okay. They got to feed you, the consumer, just enough to give you food to keep you quiet, man. While they on the back hand getting ready for their next stage, their next phase, okay? They bringing about this mark of the beast, whether you like it or not, okay? They just keep they just keeping you calm enough to you know keep your anxiety and your ambitions at bay, okay? Until the next phase get ready to roll out. So they're telling you on one hand, no more tax on your tips, and then on the other hand, they're gonna be the leading you know, capital of Bitcoin is going to be America, okay? They don't go hand in hand, although you will seem to believe that you can have options whether you can use Bitcoin or cash. No, the cash is obsolete. They want to track every transaction. That's why it's more plausible to believe that they're going in the direction of the Bitcoin, a cryptocurrency, okay, which has a ledger or a tracker that they could track all transactions down to the T, okay? If you're selling flowers on the side of the road, they want to track that. If you're a waitress and you get a $5 tip with cash, they want tax on that, okay? They want tax on everything, all right? They want to make sure everything is accounted for in this new system, okay? Which, which is going to lead to the mark of the beast, if not fourth up, outright come out with the mark of the beast, which is that micro CHIP, okay? So be not ignorant. So let's read that again. Ecclesiasticus chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thy enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. And we telling you this, okay? There's nothing to trust in this system. Matter of fact, it tells us to come out of this system. Let's read that. I believe that's in the book of Micah. Chapter 2. And is it 10? Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart. For this is not your rest. <clears throat> so don't be trying to come up. You know, looking for the next 30, 50 years down the line, you know, I'm going to get this Bitcoin. I'm going to get this cryptocurrency. I'm going to get everything, you know, the hell with, you know, everything else is is get rich or die trying, you know. And in the midst of that, you know, you 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 forsaking your you, you're forsaking your salvation. OK. You're forsaking your salvation. You're not seeking the most high. You how why he may be found. You're too busy, you know, engulfed in this this system, this society, trying to get the bag only to what? Be led to the mark of the beast. <laughs> you see, that's going to be the catch 22 where you're going to have your ass caught and left with a decision to make. Do you relinquish everything that you in your mind believe that you work hard for or do you take that mark? which signifies your allegiance, your alliance to this system and keep it. And in doing so, seal your fate for judgment with those nuclear ICMB, them, IM, them ICMB missiles, man. So you being led to the, to the trap, okay? You being trapped, okay? So Micah 2 and 10, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. And we know ultimately that's going to be those missiles, those ICBMs, man. Intercontinental ballistic missiles, okay? 
They coming to destroy this whole place, America. Babylon the Great. No matter how well of a speaker he is, and he can't be persuade, uh, persuasive to the untrained eye, you know, there's no making America great again. America was never meant to be great in the first place. It was only meant to serve as our place of captivity, okay, for us to wake up. And now that that's, that's been done, it's time for this place to be judged for its iniquity, okay? So let's read the prophecy in Revelation 13 that counters Mr. Trump's no more tax on tips argument. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 16. <clears throat> and it reads, and he causes all. Who is he? Esau, Edom. The so-called white man, he's going to close all. He's going to make it mandatory, okay, for everyone in order to make transactions and to operate on the system to use this uh, device that he's going to allow you to have put in your, your right hand or in your forehead. It says, verse 16, Revelation 13 and 16, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, you see? So in order for you to receive any type of benefits, to go anywhere, to pay for anything, you're going to have to have that mark, okay? You're not going to use cash, okay? So although he could be using a play on the words and say no more tax on tips up until that point, you still got to have the mindset that cash is going to be obsolete, man. They're going to tax and not only tax, but track every transaction, okay, that goes on and goes down, all right, throughout the whole land, all right? It's going to be a universal thing, okay? Every place you go, you're going to have to have proof. You're going to have to have that mark. There's no getting away. There's no getting around it, okay? It says, <clears throat> Revelation 13 and 16, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. What else? Verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. So you're not going to be able to buy or sell unless you have the mark. Okay. It says, or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So it's all going to encompass. Once you receive that mark, you're taking it all, okay? And if you don't, you're not going to buy and sell. It's simple as that, okay? It's not, oh, you're going to be able to go to a, a, a 1970s diner and tip the waitress with a $30 bill and the waitress is going to be so thankful, Mr. President, that you passed the law that now she could keep that $30 and it's off the books, she could pocket it at. No, that's getting taxed, okay? You know it because you're promoting Bitcoin on the other hand. You know what Bitcoin is. It's a blockchain ledger. It's going to track every transaction, okay? That waitress, if that waitress still has a job, because we know where AI is going at, she's going to have that mark in her right hand, okay, to receive that tip. And that tip will be taxed, okay? Okay? Outside of her losing her job to AI, she's going to have to pay that tax on that tip, okay? It says what? And that no man might buy or sell, and woman falls under that man, that what? Save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And his number is 600, three score is six, 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 you see? So there's no way getting around it, okay? You jakes that's, you know, <laughs> trusting, putting your trust in this system, it's, it's in vain. It's all for nothing, okay? Every All roads are leading to that mark, okay? So whether you get in the bag or you chasing the bag, it's all going to lead to you getting that mark in order to keep it, all right? And that's when it's going to be shown who are the Lord's Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, true servants, the elect. Okay. 
It's all coming down to that test. Okay, you go, everyone's going to be tried pursuant to Revelation 3 and 10. Okay, everybody's going to be tried, but the only ones that's going to pass the test is those that's keeping the patience. Okay, those that's keeping the patience of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and seeking him right now while he may be found. Okay, showing you that what? The elect would be exercising faith. And in doing so, they're going to be taken care of in those times, pursuant to Isaiah 65 and 13, you see? So no matter what politician or former president tells you, it's just to keep you dumbed down so that you don't, you know, get too riled up until that time comes, okay? They want to keep everything as cool and calm as collective. Why they just getting all the pieces put into place because they're going to let this place, speaking of America in general, but particularly America, they're going to let this place go to hell in a handbasket where you're going to be begging for that mark. OK, right now you got the choice. But once they allow this shit to go to the hell in the handbasket, you're going to be begging for it. OK, it's cool right now because it seems as if everything is under control and it's just a little off center. But once they allow this place to go to hell in the handbasket, it's going to be way out left field, okay? To the point where you're going to be lining up in droves to come get that mark, all right? And that's exactly what they want you at in their bag, okay? So never trust thy enemy, man. They speak with a, a double tongue, a double mind, a double heart, okay? And it's not just him, okay? It's the whole system, all right? It's the whole system. It's not meant to be upheld and to last. You're not going to make it great again. It was never designed to be great in the first place. All right. So we're going to wrap it up and close out. And take it to first Peter. Chapter five and verse eight. This is first Peter five and eight. And it reads, be sober. You see. If you fall for anything, you'll if you fall for anything, you know, you already behind the proverbial eight ball. OK, because now you're wobbling. You believe in there's no, no more tax on tips. OK, especially, you know, if you if you're a single parent and you need all the tips you can and keep as much of that income coming in as you can, because you believe the system will go on for another 30, 40, 50, 100, however long years, man. So that extra money is going to come in handy with inflation. This is all designed, you see. But if you're not sober, you can't see this. So that's why we are being warned to what? Be sober, be vigilant, continue to watch. OK, you're going to see when things start to go to hell in the handbasket, how people prospect perspective change. OK. It says what? Because your adversary, the devil which the devil just means deceiver because he's deceiving the whole world. He he's he he has done deceives the whole world by putting the images of our Lord and Savior in the likeness of himself. And not just our Lord and Savior, but other uh, notable uh, people in the Bible, Moses, uh, King Solomon, Samson. You know, they paint all the likeness in their likeness and they had the whole world believing that that's who the people of the Bible really look like. OK. It says because your adversary, the devil, and he's not through deceiving. OK, he's going to be he's going to be deceiving all the way up until that mark is implemented. And even once that mark is implemented, people are still going to be believe that because they took that mark in their forehead that they can perform miracles, that they can walk again. But it's all deception, okay? So it says, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour, okay? And he's going to get his fair share, as we always say, okay? Particular of our people, two-thirds here in America, okay? Two-thirds will be destroyed, and we don't know how many this <laughs> are going to be led to that destruction by taking that mark, okay? But we can say a pretty good percentage will be here in America, all right? And then the rest who somehow don't receive the mark but is somehow able to get through Jacob's trouble, the thermonuclear missiles are going to take care of them, all right? So 
if you are not of the elect, you ain't coming out of America alive, man. Point point blank, you know, simple. Point blank, period. If you're not of the elect, don't look to be delivered out of Babylon the Great, which is America, okay? This is where you're going to meet your final resting place, okay? On this side. Then you'll come back in the kingdom, okay? So let's read it one more time and then we're going to close out. Be sober, 1 Peter 5 and 8. Be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And he's not through, okay? He's going to get it all, all the way up until the end, all right? So with that being said, I pray someone was edified through this lesson. And until the next time, if it be the Lord's will, stay strong, stay in the faith. We are almost home. Shalom. Peace.